so <coughs> I'm recording this mainly so that I wouldn't forget what I'm blabbering up here because I, I feel I feel a train of thought coming right so uh, the list the lists lists reports uh, what I'm thinking here is that uh, the question of the list uh, directly mm, directly bounces off the uh, Murphy servo versus local servo uh, situation. So I'm thinking that if normally so let's let's think normal normal Murphy station operations. They send agents downstream or deeper into the folds of reality or into the branching timelines, whatever we call them, and mm -hmm. those agents uh, return data from deeper or farther inside the reality, which in relation to the receiver is farther ahead of, of time. So basically this gives them an edge uh, in making decisions and shows them what are the sort of key events or or uh, points with greater chaos potential. <laughs> My own word. Uh, now, thing is that the list that Scribe finds and the list or, or reports that Nali find should be of the same ilk. And now this got me thinking, uh, did the local servo, the one who the one who owns the moon base that uh, runs uh, the doctor, uh, did he intercept the actual Murphy communique or is he trying to do a similar thing? So like, for example, uh, if the uh, Murphy servo is sort of disseminating or inseminating certain information for his doubles or for, for, for his incarnations so that they could work out certain problems uh, ahead of time and sort of, you know, ex experiment, uh, disseminate the data and generate lots of uh, chaotic uh, material and and then snatch the re re results. So I'm thinking like uh, is the local servo simply using a similar format as he is bouncing uh, information between the void cloud and, and sort of uh, learning that they, there are uh, there are differences in the data that comes back, so uh, he must be interacting with the parallel timeline. Or has the Murphy, uh, has the local servo actually been able to grab something that belongs to the Murphy servo? Which means, mm. like, so we we already have this one one development that uh, that is sort of uh, happening in the background is the sort of. Uh, awakening or the local local servo being in danger of going full bloom, so breaking out of uh, his co uh, his local reality containment, learning too much, getting dangerous for the timeline. Mm -hmm. So this is a sort of a it's a big question. <laughs> Did the list come from Murphy, or is it something that local servo? Uh, yeah, has and here is here's did? here's even the thought. Uh, I'm thinking that the list that the scribe finds is local servos. So local servo is gathering and storing okay. data. But now the Synax list. Could it be that uh, the local servo had hired? those reclaimers of his to actually intercept a probe or something and uh, that's what they had the robot for to grab the da -da -da -da, whatever they grab the doodad that holds the data and then everybody got killed 
want the robot. So this this contradicts uh, with some earlier notes where I thought that he's just sending them into the cloud and seeing what the cloud spits out. Mm. But uh, but c it could be that uh, that there's like multiple goals there. I th I think one thing we have established is that I I agree that the list the scribe finds in scribe and the doctor is a local server mm -hmm. thing. Okay. I'm with you on that. Mm -hmm. And I think the one on Synax should be more related to Murphy, but I can't okay. I can't work that out. Or not not it it might not have been generated at Murphy, but it's been manipulated by Murphy somehow. Um mm. Okay, so I'm thinking, mm, so the, the Murphy involvement here uh, is towards uh, Nali and Scribe. So Scribe gets the job to go and find the specific data that makes him suspicious of stuff. <laughs> Nali yes. also receives a task or, 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 a, or a hot tip about some very, very... Uh, a bountiful loot uh, in the process of which he will also find some data that makes him highly suspicious mm -hmm. uh, sending the two on collision course towards each, o each other <laughs> and uh, by extension the name of the book <laughs> oh it's not it's the name name drop <laughs> uh, and uh, and by extension sending the two of them to the collision course towards Jewel Mm-hmm. However, I would uh -oh. think that uh, I would think that uh, the lists themselves uh, are not uh, are not a part of the nudging course. So giving the jobs to these guys is nudging. But mm -hmm. generating the list itself is not. So it's like yeah, the the list that uh, uh, that scribe finds is local servos, sort of local project, his own little uh, uh, pet thing. And then the Cynex one. So yeah, I initially I thought that uh, I think the initial idea was that the local servo is indeed bouncing data back back and forth through the cloud. And he mm -hmm. is using, and he is adding that data to his his own little pet list. So he 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 is gathering reports, and he is building his uh, his information based on that, and and he is learning about the nature of the reality. Uh, but uh, but yeah, so right now the idea that I'm adding here that might or might not work is indeed, uh, what if the Synax list uh, is juicier what mm -hmm. if uh, what if the Synax list also contains reports from straight from the uh, Murphy agents or at least a Murphy probe uh, which the local servo has intercepted and is trying to bring it home but then somebody because somebody nudges something Nali intercepts that data and uh, and it it never makes it to the place. Yeah. Uh, that which, sounds logical. Hmm. Uh, which means that it is even more likely that as Nali is doing his uh, salvage job, uh, he's being watched. Mm-hmm. And and whoever is watching is is motivated uh, to capture him, capture the data, and capture everybody uh, whom he comes to contact with. We need henchmen. <laughs> so uh, uh, the immediate watchers uh, should have to do with local servos henchmen. Mm-hmm. Who in turn are probably observed 
by Murphy operatives, <laughs> but uh, but without interfering. So the Murf Murphy operatives in this case would be like, yeah, this. Let's see how the situation plays out. Like we have we have encountered an event uh, with great chaos potential, and mm -hmm. with many possible uh, outcome clusters. And now we watch, and and it's like. Let's see how they how they swim out of that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm so glad you're recording all this. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't remember it tomorrow. I'm I'm sure. Mm. Mm. Which uh, and and all of this takes us to the idea that uh, when Nolly and Scribe have spoken, when they have reached past the initial awkward, oh, am I in, so in some, uh, some sort of trouble now? No, no, mm -hmm. I'm just interested. <laughs> mm -hmm. And by the way, have you seen this? Uh, after after that meeting has, has come and gone, and they have already made some sort of decision to put their information together um, that then they will somehow start tracking down uh, the people who are reported in that list and and uh, that's where they will start finding out that uh, there have been uh, a series of suspicious circumstances that those people are no more. Mm-hmm. Dun dun dun. Um. And uh, and this is and this is a this is a bit where we actually need some motivation, some strong motivation for them both. Uh, to. So so again, up until this point, it is it is more more a thing of curiosity, but to actually get their asses moving, uh, they need we need some sort of immediacy. So uh, so there should indeed be. So, so again, as a placeholder, I would put here uh, destroy uh, destroy knowledge. Uh, the station where he parks when when he rests or destroys Valbard or so, something like that so mm -hmm. uh, so a threat to uh, their own homes would be something that uh, that would get them moving or it's like uh, they are moving down 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 the list and uh, and eventually they see uh, reports or very variations taking place around uh, uh, their friendly stations. Mm -hmm. By the way, uh, this is uh, where you can also uh, pop in Kaudvarza uh, reference if you want to. So it's like if yeah. let's 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 say if if several. If several space stations around uh, uh, operating in uh, uh, in DUD systems uh, are targeted about something, then uh, Code Varza could easily be one among them. Oh yeah, definitely. I've just a I thought. Think I've, al I've always said that in many other timelines and time streams, Code Varza. Like we're essentially following Kaldavarza in its best timeline in the mm. in the story because all the others it doesn't really or most of the others it doesn't usually come to fruition mm. or it is destroyed or something happens to Kaldavarza it's taken over and then abandoned or whatever so yeah we can we can definitely reference that. Mm -hmm. What do you think about using the reclaimers at, by Erma, the sort of ones that servos like, hey, I can give you great power if you just follow me? Mm -hmm. um, what if, what if, what if uh, a group, uh, a team of those uh, is sent to, in, is the group that's sent to intercept the data, uh, but Nardley gets to it before them? Or do you just want some sort of like generic? 
no, I, no, I think I think those should be uh, servo henchmen or like so okay. servo goons. So so that's that uh, that's where I'm at the same page. I think. All right, cool. I, I like the idea. It means we don't have to sort of. They're, they're already sort of in the region. They're already up to nefarious. Yeah, and yeah, and, <laughs> and 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 servo <laughs> ha already has a has a hold of them. Mm -hmm. or like oh, he, yes. he already has them by the something mm -hmm. by the microbes like the short and curvy <laughs> <laughs> right uh. and I, I, f I think I have depleted the idea so so yes that that, that was the sort of big uh, big question now the specifics of whom they read about where what uh, yeah, I think that whole the reports themselves are very much out in the ether right now. Mm -hmm. But uh, but some foundation <laughs> of the contradicting uh, interests and contradicting knowledge levels, I think, is is where this this whole situation sort of arises. Mm -hmm. I love that we've got a better idea of, of <laughs> where we're going with the list. That's cool. Yeah. We <laughs> I didn't even mean to, but we, we actually populated a little bit of Cinex list right now. <laughs> <laughs> Go yeah, figure. Man. Right, I'm going to so stop bank? recording this. Yeah. Uh, just a minute. Stop recording.